never traveled outside the United States before and I didn't know exactly what to expect with a different culture and, and different people. After thinking about it later on and like leading up to actually leaving, I got more nervous, I think. <laughs> I thought it was such a great opportunity. I was super excited and I figure I could calm Kristen's nerves a little bit when we're on the trip, so. Experiencing all that all at once, I was worried about getting a little overwhelmed. I thought it would be a lot more, a lot different, but it really wasn't. There was a lot of similarities between the Chicago American culture and the Lithuanian culture. Once in a love, the it was great to meet the Lithuanian team face to face. I mean, usually whenever we have meetings, they're usually Skype calls and they're never any video calls. So you only hear these voices talking and it isn't as fun as actually interacting with somebody face to face. And you can see all of the emotions that they carry on their face and see the actual warmth that they have. They're not just robots or emails pouring in uh, from a computer. Lingaila, she is very emotional and kind and warm and caring and she's not afraid to show it, which is great. And she made us feel so welcome. Um, and to see, you know, friendly faces right on the very first day to give you a hug on the very yeah, first day when you was, didn't that know. That was very surprising. That was awesome. But the very first day she came up and gave me a hug and all like nervousness and thoughts about not being able to communicate and not like making friends there, like they just went away. They all welcomed us after that pretty much. I think, I think what we were most afraid of was not doing anything on the trip, but I mean, everybody that we interacted with, they were really helpful and really nice, and they, they took time out to take us to a lot of places and to see the beauty of Konis and the rest of Lithuania mm -hmm. and to show us why they love their country so much. I think one of the highlights is actually the fact that we went during one of the longest um, days of the entire year. I think we were there around the time when Yoninus was happening, the longest day of the year, and it was great because we got to hang out and go to work for, you know, seven, eight hours, and then also play for another four hours and hang out with a lot of new, different people. I think the experience that I will never forget was our two-day bike ride <laughs> from Klaipeda to Nida and back. It was a hundred plus kilometers over the two days and it was with camping gear and snacks and all this stuff and like I had never done that before. I mean I've been camping before many times but never have I had to bike ride with camping gear to, to a site and that was amazing. The bike ride was gorgeous going through um, all the beach towns and through the woods and like it was just so peaceful and quiet but definitely would do it again. I think another memorable moment for me would actually be that fort trip um, through all of the different forts of Lithuania and I, I can't even describe it to you. If you guys can go and ask Oldrunas to give you guys a fort tour, please do so. It is killer. We saw all these different former Soviet Union forts and we crawled through caves like spelunking. We've, <laughs> uh, yeah, in the dark with flashlights, we've crawled around and waded through puddles of mud and water and saw maybe a pigeon and lots of graffiti. That was also very impressive and moving to me was like how much um, these people love their country and they wanted to share everything with us. They wanted to show us everything that they possibly could while we were there. And we saw a good portion <laughs> of the country, I think. And I never expected to be able to do that much while we were there. It just changes the whole way you, you look at the country when you're doing it with friends and people like you've met versus going to a museum and going through it yourself. Like, you learn so much more when you're hearing it from people who live there. 
a couple of the things that were very interesting and very different from what we are used to here in America. And the biggest one was the restaurant service. It was much slower than what you're used to here. Not terribly which, which is not a bad thing. It, it was it was a nice change of pace, actually. But also, uh, we didn't realize that you had to pay for water. <laughs> so we would order water, and then we would see the bill, and it'd be like a couple dollars. So it was like, oh, okay. So water is, is not free here. <laughs> I think our first real meal was lunch the, the first day. Um, <laughs> that we were at work and it was a traditional Lithuanian meal. We had fried uh, sepaline and it was super delicious <laughs> and super traditional um, and very, yeah. The shalti brashe, yeah, that was also really delicious. Um, also and very traditional. <laughs> and gira, which is awesome. <laughs> we heard that the Lithuanian team is pretty shy with their English. Um, maybe because, you know, you guys don't practice it as much. Um, when we started interacting with everybody over there, we realized how well everybody spoke and I, uh, we really had no problem at all with understanding you guys. So it's a really great job. Like so that's what... They shouldn't be concerned so much with trying to be perfect with their English. We understand you them perfectly fine. We could communicate perfectly please keep, keep up keep, keep up practicing. with uh, what is it the English Thursdays or Tuesdays um, because I think that will really help yeah. um, in terms of just having to practice English and I think it's also a very fun kind of activity to do yeah. I would definitely go back um, we honestly had no expectations at least I didn't I had never been to Europe before I didn't know what to expect and I have only great fond memories of the entire trip, so uh, we would both love to thank everybody who had been so kind and so gracious and so welcoming to the both of us. I mean, you guys didn't know us at all or hardly knew us, and to be welcomed so warmly and so kindly. So thank you very much, everybody. And to those of you guys who didn't necessarily hang out with us too much, the next time we are there, you guys definitely have to say hi. We miss you all already. We, we miss uh, hanging out with you guys every day. And um, definitely, if you're ever in Chicago, we will definitely return the favor and <laughs> show you all that Chicago has to offer. And we hope to see you soon. Bye-bye, Achu, for taking us out and being really great hosts. We hope to see you again. Misa Kero! <laughs> I think that was, I think that was good.